Hey guys, Master Bubba here, back in my mess of the studio, which, well, yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> but, uh, this is my first video of 2016. I know that I have been, uh, like, not on YouTube, but on YouTube for the past couple of months. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I, I've just been really busy trying to get the new studio ready. And it's almost ready. Yeah, I can't uh, do the reviews on some of the stuff that I want to do reviews on just yet. So, that's why it's taking a little bit long. But, uh, some Lego reviews and some Lego reviews should still come out, uh, according to schedule. But I'm back to stay. Most of the haters out there were probably like, Yes, he finally left. He finally gave up. But, they're wrong. But, uh, anyway... Today we are we will be reviewing the Lego Ideas Doctor Who uh, set. Let's get into it. So here we have the set. We have hold on. <laughs> we have the TARDIS console area. We have the police box itself. We have two doctors, Clara Oswald, uh, Ruby Angel, and two Daleks. You have the box right there, and the instructions right there. So, let's officially start with the figures. First off, we'll, we're starting with the 11th Doctor, played by Matt Smith. Um, I am holding my camera down so it doesn't do that, because my tripod's, uh... It's a little, uh... broken-ish. just needs, uh... Oh, never mind. I just fixed it. It, it is a little loose on the thing. So, uh, anyway, back to the review. The Eleventh Doctor sports his original costume from, uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I haven't watched Doctor Who in a while since series, season nine ended. Um, I think it, he, the last time that he wore this costume, this suit was series late series 7 I believe no not late I'm sorry I mean mid series 7 basically um, he started in series or season 5 um, the doctor before him was the 10th doctor played by David Tennant who most people know even if they're not a fan of Doctor Who but anyway he has the uh, he has a nice little jacket. The print goes all the way around on his jacket. Uh, there's a small little pattern. I don't have very good lighting at the moment, but you can sort of see the lines. Um, he has the uh, brown sort of a uh, Lloyd Garmadon hair, you could say. Then, uh, he has sort of just a, like, uh, okay face, and then it's, then he has his little happy face. And I forgot about his accessory. His other one. I'm back. Well, he has the white shirt on, bo the red bow tie, uh, some brown pants that continues the jacket print, and then he has his sonic screwdriver. On the box, um, it only shows one screwdriver, but it comes with an extra one, so. Has the green little details, has, it's mainly gold on this, but the actual screwdriver is uh, sort of a uh, mix. I'll show you because I have the, the little replica. Out of way.
Yeah, it extends. It's pretty cool. That's that'll be one of my next reviews. And I knocked down the figured area, so great job, Master Builder. Great job. All right, I'll be back in a second. Alright, I think that's as good as it's going to get. You can see that I have the police box holding it up. But you can see how there's gold here and then there's silver here. But on this, it's all gold. And then there's white. And then there's green, of course, because yeah, there's green. Here, I'll show you. Hold on. Yeah. So... This is, it only comes in a, its extended look, because that's mainly how most people would recognize it. And, um, the, uh, circulation thing, whatever it is, just came on. That's going to be bugging everyone, I'm guessing. This will be one of my next reviews, so watch out for that. But, uh, let's get the 11th Doctor here put screwdriver back in his hand and show you his other accessory which is a fez because fezes are like bow ties they are cool take off his hair put the fez on yes you can see the, his other the other side of his face but you can always just get some clay if you want keep his hair on him put the clay on his hair a little tiny bit and then boop and uh I mean, it does look a little weird, so you can, like, shave it, cut it, whatever you want, but I'm just gonna keep the way it is. You can put that in the sand, so. Yeah! Woo! Moving on to the next figure, we also have the Doctor, but he's a little different from the last Doctor that we saw, Ex except for the same sonic screwdriver. This is the 12th Doctor, played by Peter Capaldi. He is the current Doctor in Doctor Who, so that's pretty cool. You can see that he has a little, uh, uh, it's not a pocket, it's not a pocket watch on a chain, it's just like a little, like, metal thing on a chain, I don't know what it is exactly, but he has a sort of a purplish, uh, jacket, and then, it uh, does not have that small pattern, but it does have those little lines right there. He has uh, just a one-sided face. Pretty simple. He has that newer hair mold that was introduced with the other 12th Doctor figure. Uh, he has the same face as the other 12th Doctor figure, if I can get it to focus. Yeah, I got it for a second. You can see it. No, you can't. You can sort of see it. I have trouble with all my cameras getting them to focus on faces, but he does not wear the bow tie. Now, if you watch Doctor Who, you will notice, yeah, this is not his usual suit. And if you watch Doctor Who, this, I hit the police box. Ah! I'm just gonna leave it. Um, you will know, if you watch Doctor Who, you will know that when the 11th Doctor regenerates into the 12th Doctor, he is wearing this suit. And he just... This is... This whole scene... The whole TARDIS is based after uh, the episode, um, The Time of the Doctor, when the, doc when the 11th Doctor regenerates into the 12th Doctor. So. But, uh, even though... The Eleventh Doctor isn't wearing the same suit, or his, uh, late, uh, Series 7 suit. That's fine. Uh, to be honest, I like this one a little more than the Series 7 one, uh, than the late Series 7 one. But, uh, everyone has their own opinion. He, the Twelfth Doctor only wears this suit for, like, an, for, like, one or two episodes. That's literally it. So, 
I dropped a screwdriver. Sorry for that. So, uh, moving on to the next to the next figure. We have their companion, Clara Oswald. She is in her, I believe, she's in her time of the doctor uh, clothing. I don't really remember, but when I hold her like this, you can notice. Of course, you noticed the red already, but you can just barely notice a little bit of brown right there. I think I don't remember what it was that she had, but uh, she has the sort. It's sort of like the dual molding, I guess. But you can, when I hold her like that, you can see the buttons on her little jacket, and then no bow tie, of course, because she's not the eleventh doctor. <laughs> but she has that um, one part down hair piece. I don't know what the name of it is. Um, she doesn't really have anything, any real printing on her back except for the little lines at the end of her jacket. She has a smiling face. You could sort of see it there. And then she has a confused face. I've been leaving it on the confused face for some odd reason. Because last time I, I messed with this, these figures, apparently I had accidentally left Clara Oswald with her confused face. Uh the thing just turned off. Hallelujah. <laughs> but, um, pretty cool figure. And another exclusive. Uh, every figure in the set is exclusive to this set. So, just keep that in mind. Because they, they're pretty cool figures. Next we have the Weeping Angel. And before any Whovians start freaking out and don't and click off of this video. This weeping angel will not hurt you. At all. I promise. As most as most people know, anything that is an angel becomes an angel. But never, ever, ever look an angel in its eye. Because, if you do, you'll get an angel in your eye. And, it's, you can, yeah, you'll die. <laughs> but, um, they did, Lego did an amazing job with the Weeping Angel figure. Uh, you can sort of see the print on there, on, of the, like, dress. Very nice. It's just an awesome figure, in my opinion. Just all gray. Gray hairpiece. You know that little, uh, Princess Leia indoor hairpiece? And, uh, General Leia hairpiece. I'm... I will spoil stuff for Force Awakens when I do start doing Force Awakens set reviews, which will be out soon. So uh, keep that in mind, you people who are all who are only Star Wars fans. Trust me, I'm 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 all for Star Wars. I'm not just a Whovian. Basically, the Weeping Angel has just a really like meh face, and then when you blink, hold on, when you blink. Well, you can see the, the nice face right there. I'll basically, I'll, I'll explain to you guys what the Weeping Angel is in the description below. So check that out, because I'm not saying it right now, because it takes a little while. <laughs> For me, at least. But they'll start out like this with their hands over their eyes, then you blink. Then you turn away. And they get closer. And closer. And closer. Until finally... And that's when they're, like, right up in your face. Well, not always, but... And they will send you back in time. Killing you. Be feasting on your potential time energy. Now, I'm gonna switch it back to the normal face, because that face 
always gives me shivers. What am I saying? Weeping angels give me shivers. Statues give me shivers. Because of that episode. Because of Don't Blink. Or, no, it wasn't Don't Blink. It was called Blink. But basically, y you can see how amazing the, tor the back torso cutting is on this figure. Lego did such... So detailed... Such... Um, I can't talk. I can never talk in the videos. They did so much detail, even though it was going to be covered up by this clear piece with the clips and the wings. I mean, yes, there are some wing wingless angels if they haven't been able to feast for a long time and all, but that's pretty rare. Pretty rare. But um, moving on to the next figure or figures, you could say. You could consider them figures, I consider them figures, because they are characters and they are hilarious sometimes. But they are also extremely dangerous. And yes, you're probably thinking, well, if you don't know what Doctor Who is that well, what am I looking at? What is this weird contraption that I'm looking at? Well, my friend, this is a Dalek. They are extremely deadly in the Doctor Who universe, and they are one of the scariest beings in Doctor Who. Because when they say exterminate, they shoot out of this. It, in the show, it looks a little bit like a, a whisk, and they have little uh, suckers that look like plungers. But they will, like, crush your face. And they're also little control things. But this is their gun, this is their little sucker. This is their eye stalk. And right there is their eye. But basically they're uh, beings inside of like a tank, you could say. But basically they also have printing. There is not a single sticker in this set. Which is awesome. I'm gonna remove that. Basically you can see they have their little... Uh, uh, little light up things to tell, uh, I don't really know what they're called, uh, but in the show they're like sticking out to like there, and the, uh, the original Doctor Who, they're just little like bulbs, so, and then, uh, that's where the eye stalk would come out of, but, in the set, because Lego just had to do it like this, so, yeah, and then you can take the head off, and say, oh, cool, I shot a Dalek's head off, although that might not ever happen. But basically, the Dalek's main, just has main three part, two, three main parts, so that's pretty neat. And there are two in this set, and they're complete, they're exactly the same, so nothing unique about two, well, one, why am I saying that? They're exactly the same. That's what I'm trying to say. Gah. But, uh, yeah. Um, I'll also try to give my best, uh, description of a Dalek in the description below. So, they also have the, that little, that, like, stamp piece, but it's clear. Then you uh, put in the three little thing and put it in. You put the stud with the hole in it in. And then, yeah. Moving on. Here we have. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm zooming out all the way. How about that? The TARDIS police box itself. Now. It, the app where I am with the camera, it doesn't really fit in the view. So, we've got to retest the thing. It's not straight. Grr. This is going to be annoying because it's like. Gah. I don't have anything to hold it down at the moment. Unless I can tie the camera strap around it. On the tripod. Okay, nope. 
somewhat stable. It wasn't very stable either, so let's fix that. So um basically it's pretty it's pretty much the same on every side. Except you have the little like Saint John's ambulance sign uh thing right there and then you have the um uh free for public free for use of public sign right here. You have window 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 then back to the front you have police public call box these are all printed bricks they do not line up correctly in some spots but uh... just find the ones that do and eventually the, they should look pretty good and then you have how uh, it sort of like layers up a little bit and then you have the light and it's really cool but um you're probably wondering how would if you if you don't want to stop through how would that fit in this well the TARDIS is bigger on the inside um well before I start this every single one of these characters maybe except for Clara I'm going to write a description about. Now, the twelfth doctor and the eleventh doctor, they are the same person, just different faces. So they will have one description. Moving on. You can connect the police box to the TARDIS. The TARDIS to the TARDIS. Because there's this little like there's a bridge and it's like not uh, complete. So basically, take that off, pull that up, pull that up. It's a pretty nice locking mechanism, and it looks pretty uh, weird. But, do that, and that, you have another printed piece. I'm going to take it out to show it to you guys. It's pretty much the back that you mainly will see it with the 10th uh, Doctor. Uh, it has a reverse police public call sign. Uh, that's where the phone is, which is where that is. Basically, you, in the show, you'd open that and you'd see uh, a phone. It's pretty neat. Now I've just got to put the door back in, and then we can continue on with the review. And basically, you can. Uh, there are two studs right here, so that you can put uh, any of the normal minifigures. Uh, I, I don't know about the weeping angel. Um, you can take the doctor, close up the TARDIS, and uh, either start flying, start like just hovering, or of course the usual way of transportation in the TARDIS, dematerializing, which is very awesome. So. And then you have the little round things, which are fun. Wait, why am I doing Not yet! Okay, so, basically, we are going to move on to the TARDIS interior. And I've got to undo this little... ...trap, the tripod that I did. isn't all that good. That's a yellow flashlight. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Alright, uh, we have a little bit better with that. A little bit... Uh, an LED flashlight, so... Pretty much here's the interior of the TARDIS. Pretty big. Pretty nice. I'm sorry if this is a really long review. I'm just... It's been a while, so... Uh, basically, you have the main console itself. You have, um, hold on. Let me try something here.
Alright, that's the best I got for now. But basically, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is one of the two monitors in the TARDIS. In the show, they can both be spun around. But in LEGO, they can't. Because this has the, like, I think it's called the timer, has to be stay in place. So, basically in the show, there's spinning parts, like, right here and right here, and they're real. it's really cool looking. Oh, look, here's the, here's the actual fez that came with the bonus doctor. See, I like to store it, uh, there's a stud right here. I like to store the fez right there. Pretty nice place for those. Basically, right here we have the um, trying to think of the name. Hold on a second, guys. I'll come back with the name. Uh, I believe it's called the. Uh, I can't think of the name. Please tell me what the name of it is in the comments below because I cannot remember Doctor Who is taken off the Netflix and I can't find any of the, any of the DVDs. So, you have a little uh, control panel right there. And then you have a... I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> a button and a button. A little keyboard. You got the, another, the other monitor. It's the exact same print on them both. You have just little things to flick. You have a little lever right here. Gauges. Keyboard. Button. A gauge. A stud. And then the lever. For when they... Well, this is like the, the steering wheel on a car. That's sort of. They either push it that way or that way. And the TARDIS takes off. Or lands. Now, to show you the side consoles, I'm going to take one off. They're exactly the same. You have little, like a game controllers, sort of. Keyboard, button, button. Uh, one is. This one's blue, this one's more of a purple. So, yeah. And I knocked off that. That can easily be put back on. You have little stairs going down to an, an, another area. But basically, this, the two of these can be connected. And the way that they're connected, you can just fly it around, you can have it upside down, and all that good stuff. But, um, you can even bounce it like that. Which is really fun sometimes when you want to have uh, the TARDIS get like shot down by a Dalek warship, and then it's just like that, and everyone's hanging on, and they're like, "Okay, um, now what?" And then, oh great, the the uh, thing came back on. That's just great. That means we're almost an hour in. Okay, but the era of this TARDIS is. Late 11th Doctor, which means late series 7. How do I, uh, the difference between late, uh, 11th Doctor and 12th Doctor? 12th Doctor has the exact same TARDIS, except this is not blue. This is red. So. But, it's pretty cool. There aren't really any play features in the set, so, because it's an idea set, it's not meant to, so, still it's pretty cool, I have to admit, it's really fun, you can fit pretty much every character that comes in the set, in the set, it's really fun, for if you are a big Doctor Who fan, so. I love this set. I got it right before Doctor Who was taken off of Netflix. Well, I'm not well, not necessarily off of Netflix. It's on Netflix DVD, but 
anyway, <laughs> um, let's move on in to the instructions and then the box, and then we will finish off this review. Here we have, of course, the instruction booklet. Uh, pretty much just the uh, action figure series three, I believe. Uh, design where it's like got that blue and the yellow, very weird looking. <laughs> you have uh, basically about stuff about Doctor Who. Well, yeah. And then you have little character things. You have the TARDIS. And then the, just it in a different language. And then, um, there aren't little remarks, little, like, statements from the characters in the booklet like there were with the Ghostbusters one, but, um, yeah. But basically you have, like, the people who made the TARDIS set. You have Andrew Clark, the original designer, who, uh, got who wanted to make the TARDIS, uh, thing, and got it, and got enough votes on LEGO Ideas. You have, uh, this guy, a LEGO group designer, product designer. You have a LEGO group graphic designer. And these were the guys who brought us this set. Some of the guys who brought us this set. But, um, there should be facts at the beginning of the booklet about Doctor Who. Very nice set, so. Let's move on to the box. The box and the instructions are the exact same thing, except that's not on it. That's not on the instructions. And that's it. <laughs> but um, I do have random stuff in here. Because I've been transporting the set along with um, the uh, some figures and s junk in it, but basically it's it's the picture of stuff that you can have in there. Uh, eight is ten and up. Set number two two one three zero four six hundred twenty three pieces. Lego B uh, Doctor Who and of course the channel BBC. You have. The Doctor protecting Clara from a weeping angel. Pretty much just staring at it. <laughs> um, this is not a camera problem. Like I thought it was with the uh, pictures from when it first was announced. That's just the 11th Doctor sort of like phasing into the 12th Doctor. It's a, li it's a pretty cool thing. You have instructions on how to uh, get your Lego your set uh, as an actual set. Picture. Another picture. And that's pretty much it. So, and then uh, there's nothing there. Got a picture of the TARDIS. Another picture of the TARDIS. Doctor Who symbol. And of course, the Lego symbol. Moving on to end this video. I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Sorry about that. Um, so. You guys can see, because I edited it out. Ha! Okay. But, uh, this is, it's an amazing set. Well, if you like it. It's just, a, it's really cool to have. To collectors, it'll be just awesome to just display on the shelf and have there to just look at and be like, that is a, like, short time thing that I got. Because Lego sets, they haven't, these things, they are just, 